I'm going to show you how to screen print and heat press foil. Stick around. Welcome back and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss out on some of our vlogs like we got this Anatol Titan here which we're vlogging, getting it together, press tech, all that coming in. We have screen printing tutorials and design tutorials as well as business tutorials. So let's go ahead and dive right into this tutorial. I think I could have said tutorial one more time. All right, I got my screen side kicked over here. Makes loading ink up a lot easier, which in this case, we're using a Plastisol foil adhesive. And I'm just gonna load up a generous amount, but I'm gonna make sure not to press it down in the image area. So that way we get a nice, accurate print. You're going to want a fairly soft squeegee. 70 durometer is just fine. You could even use a 16 that will help to really push that Plastisol foil adhesive through that mesh. So I'm going to turn on my heat press because we will need the heat press in order to accomplish this. You're going to want to set your heat press to 320 degrees for about 15 seconds. The instructions say anywhere from 300 to 320, 10 to 15 seconds, but we're going to we're going to let it cook a little bit longer than that. So the next thing we're going to do is tape off these center marks. These are essentially just marks that help me align the graphic nice and straight onto the press. The first thing we're going to do is we are definitely going to do a test print. We just don't want to dive right in. We're going to test things out to make sure we have our temperature set correctly on our heat press and to make sure we're putting enough foil adhesive down. Want to make sure my screen is nice and flooded. I'm going to hold it at a pretty upright angle and then just give it a nice firm pass a couple times until the shirt clears. We're looking pretty good. We have a little bit of a buildup there. I'm not sure why. I might have something on my palette. Yep. I've got a little garbage on my palette. So now I'm going to take this over to the heat press and we're going to do some foil. So I'm just going to take my shirt and I'm going to drape it over my pad here. To make sure it's nice and centered. Making sure it's nice and flat. Here's our foil. You can get this from just about any screen print vendor. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can find this at. And we're just going to cut a sheet to size. I'm just going to kind of measure it out. And then we'll cut our foil. And there's a couple ways you can do this. I did not flash cure this any. You can flash cure it so it'll be easier to handle. I tend to not like to flash cure it just so I have all of my adhesive properties there. Giving me the best chance at making this work. We're just gonna take our foil, drape it over our design, and we're gonna heat press it at a medium pressure. 320 degrees for 15 seconds. Our design is nice and pressed. Depending on what works for you, sometimes we'll do a hot peel, but I think starting out, what I'm gonna do is a cold peel. If there are any bubbles or anything like that, you can take an eraser, a pencil eraser, or you can use your finger to make sure it's nice and adhered. But since this is a test print, I'm just going to see how it comes out and make my adjustments from there. Everything is nice and cool. Let's go ahead and peel this and see how it came out. 
The only issue is right here didn't seem to stick all that well and I'm thinking that's because I just need to put a little bit more pallet tack down on my press and I think we should be set to go ahead and run this job off. Here in my background. Here are the shirts all finished. I think they came out quite well. It's kind of hard showing this stuff on, on camera. There is half tones in this design and I think it's always best suited to do something simple but our client wanted to, to try something a little different out and I think they came out pretty awesome. It's hard to kind of really show the design on the camera because of the reflective nature of this stuff but that's how we go about decorating shirts with foil thanks for tuning in i hope this video was helpful be sure to subscribe because we have vlogs coming up such as our vlog on the anatol titan we just received and also we put out lots of tutorials on how to design screen print business advice all kinds of things so be sure to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up until next time we'll see you later